You ready for the adventure and the romance? Here comes another episode of The Cisco Kid, starring Duncan Ronaldo and Leo Carrillo, and brought to you free on the web by Wild West Toys, the only manufacturer of American-made Western toy cap guns. <laughs> Here's adventure! Here's romance! Here's O. Henry's famous Robin Hood of the Old West, the Cisco Kid! Jim? Yeah, I'll bet you are. I've been three years in that stir coop and you ain't ever showed up once. I didn't dare risk it, Jim. They might have tied me in with that robbery and sent me up here, too. Yeah, yeah, sure, I know. Where's my horse? Over there, and your gun, too. some old debts. Let's go. This is far enough. Get down. I said get down. Now hold on, Jim. I didn't do anything honest. I'm still your friend. I'm not confiding you. Stop squawking. I ain't gonna hurt you. I just want you to do a little timing for me. See that tree over there? The little one? Yeah. I'm gonna blast it three times before you can make your draw. When I count three. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. My thunder, Jim. You always were pretty good with a gun, but now why? You're chain lightning. How come? I had three long years to practice. Practice with what? With the dummy gun I made up on the quiet in the tool shop. For hours at a time, I did nothing but stand in my cell and draw and dry fire, draw and dry fire. Getting ready for those two coyotes that sent me to prison. You mean Bill Shannon and the Cisco kid? Yeah. Shannon's still in town, I hope. He is. We got business in town. Yep, all set, sis. Why the gun? You've never worn one before around the office. Expecting trouble? Me? <laughs> Shucks, no. I'm just getting so I don't feel quite dressed up about it. So that's why you're wearing your gun. You knew Brent was getting out of prison today. Now, don't get excited, sis. Please get in the back room and hide. 
hurry. He'll kill you. I don't think so, Rita. My hide's pretty tough. But... You know why I'm here, Shannon? I promised I'd get you when I come out of prison. I'm here to keep that promise. Get out of here, Brent. first. Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. Hurry, Pancho. Cisco. All the time you are in a hurry. If I listen to you, I starve to death. 26. No, 25. You are always eating, and I get nothing to eat. Come, Pancho. You know I have an appointment. An appointment? Get low question there. All the time you are jumping from the pancake into the frying pan. Say, why you do all these things I don't understand? Now, Pancho, didn't we get word that Brent will be looking for us in San Lorenzo today? Eh? Doesn't Brent want to shoot me? Eh? Well, then let's not keep the gentleman waiting. Get a low quest from me. Why do you want to get killed so quick when you can get killed later on just the same? Good morning, my friend. Why so surprised, Brent? I didn't think you'd have the nerve to meet me. The Cisco kid always tries to oblige. Why don't you draw? Get out of this country and stay out. Next time, I'm not going to be so generous. Get going. Why don't you put that in your smoke and pipe it? Don't worry, Rita. You heard what the doctor said. Bill will be all right. In the meantime, Pancho and I will run the stagecoaches for you. Yeah, Bill will be up and around before you can say Robinson Jack. You know, he's a pretty tough hombre like I am. <laughs> <laughs> Place wound. Yeah, give me a hand with the bandage. I got some news, Jim. That ought to make you feel much better. Make us both rich. Yeah? There's going to be plenty of cash on the stage leaving San Lorenzo tomorrow. You know who's going to do the driving? Who? Cisco. Yeah? Yeah.
Qué linda la mañana cuando sale el sol. <laughs> we will return in just a moment with the climax of our exciting adventure of the Cisco Kid. I'm sorry I didn't get back sooner, Miss Rita. I'd have not only kept Bill from getting shot, but Cisco wouldn't be driving that stage. That's a bad mistake you made, trusting him with all that money. I trust him with everything we own, and so would Bill. Well, it's your money and will be your loss. You sound as though he's already stolen it. He will. You don't know his reputation like I do. And don't say that I didn't warn you. Cisco and his pal myself. You pick up the stage after I get him. Sure. Didn't I tell you to get that stage through? See, but the horses was on the other. Don't stand there arguing with me. Get back to it. Go on. You dumb mule. Look what you did. 
Oh, Cisco. Ah, your head is good for nothing but just to eat tortillas. Well, Cisco, I was afraid they were going to kill you, so I come back to help you. Didn't I did right? I guess you always mean well. What are you going to do now? Walk. I will, but I don't like it. Cisco, I'm getting blisters on my feet, I think. And sit down and I'll pull you. No, and get blisters some other place? No, gracias. Well, why we are coming back here again? To get our horses, like I told you, and see if we can get back the money for Bill and his sister. Don't move, Cisco. Now, what's all this about, Sheriff? Trying to get your horses and sneak out, eh? Start moving both here. Sorry to say this to you, Rita, but we were attacked by outlaws. Yeah, they take the stagecoach, the money, and everything. Who are you trying to fool with that cock and bull story? I suppose you think we stole the money. I haven't got the slightest doubt, Cisco. Well, I have plenty of doubt. If they say they were held up, I believe them. You had the truth. Try and convince the judge when he gets around. Rita, you tell Bill. Lock that handcuff. Get your gun, Pancho. Now get our horses. you like, Sheriff. But we'll be back, Rita. looking for here? Tracks, Pancho. Tracks left by the stagecoach. They will lead us to Brent. Oh, then you are using my brains, eh? Hey, what is this? Where did you get this watch, Pancho? Oh, somewhere. You better take it back where you got it from. No, not where I got it. But it was only a joke. Uh -huh. out of sight.
front. I'll get around the back. Put your hands up and turn around. Remember you asked for this print. Cisco, you and Poncho ought to stay and help us run the stage line. Why don't you, Cisco? Eh, for Poncho and Cisco, it is the open road. Thank you. Yeah, and with the trouble and the sheriff always breathing down your heels. <laughs> well, I'll have to be going. I have an appointment and I don't want to be late. I, uh... My watch and chain are gone. Someone may have stolen it, Sheriff. If anyone did that to me, I'd put him away for 40 years. Cisco, let's went pronto. But Pancho, you must say goodbye to the Sheriff. He has been very kind to us. Bueno. <laughs> Adios, amigo. <laughs> goodbye. Goodbye, Pancho. <laughs> goodbye. Goodbye, Cisco. Goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye. Rita. Goodbye, Bill. We'll be back soon. Adios. Kid will be back in a moment. But first, an important message. Goodbye, amigos. See you soon. <laughs> Thanks for joining us for another free Western on the web.
Brought to you by Wild West Toys, the only manufacturer of American-made Western toy cap guns. If you want to shop with Wild West Toys online, go to www.toyguntown.com. Get ready for another exciting adventure with the Cisco Kid and his sidekick Poncho. You know, Leo Carrillo was almost 70 years old when he started being Poncho on the Cisco Kid. And Duncan Ronaldo was in his 50s. These men are pretty darn agile. So get ready for a wonderful adventure up with the Cisco Kid and Poncho. Brought to you free by Wild West Toys. Here's adventure! Here's romance! Here's O. Henry's famous Robin Hood of the Old West, the Cisco Kid! Not now, Terry. I'm busy. It's important. I've got to talk. See me later. Hi, Sheriff. Do oh. you mind if I talk to my client a minute? Oh, not at all. Give me your gun, Mr. Parker. Good. Let me know when you're ready to leave. Yeah. $75,000 waiting to be cut up among us. There'll be no split if I go to trial. I think we ought to break you out of here. Divide the money and leave the country. Oh, no. Then I'd be wanted the rest of my life. Come on, Sheriff. We're ready. I've got a better idea. What is it? When the Cisco kid comes to town to identify me, get him. I can't do that. Right here under the Sheriff's nose. It's either that or... Sorry, Mr. Parker. You'll have to end your talk now. I've got to leave the office. Very well. What does my lawyer think of my new plan of defense? I'll do what you say. Now you're being smart. Not much use in my having a lawyer, is there, Sheriff? Not when I have to tell him how to prove my innocence. You and like it, Gil. Beats me, Lou. That lawyer knows what he's talking about. I got the best of the deal. How's that? I just better. Better target. I can't miss. Come on, Pancho. Stop. Let's get closer. What's 
strong, Pancho. Why are you riding so slow? Oh, Cisco, my saddle is no good. I better fix him. Pancho, you are up to a trick. Cisco, how you can look on top of my face and say such things to me? Pancho, you are deliberately delaying my trip to Dorado. Uh, Cisco, why we are always in such a hurry? For the 300th time, I tell you. The sheriff sent for me to identify that man that killed the banker and the holdup. Now, I saw him very plainly, and I can identify him. I, I, Cisco, take advice from a big fool like me, and don't stick your nose in other people's business. Someday you're going to walk right into the ambushes. Just as I thought. There is nothing wrong with your cinch. Tighten it. Hurry. Hey, Cisco, why don't you let me ride ahead of you and clear the way for you? Pancho, fix the cinch and let's get going. Pancho, you're like a big baby. Got away clear. You and your tricks to save my life. Pancho. Uh, Pancho Miguel Gonzalez de Conejo is a fool. I'm going to break his own neck sometime. <laughs> for Tracy. Did the boys get Cisco? I'm sorry, Tracy. They tried, but he got away. You dim wit. Mr. Parker, I got... I to... told you I'm busy, Terry. It's about Tom Tracy. What about Tom? What's it worth to you and Tom for him to get out of jail? Who are you driving? Is it worth 5000 for him to walk out scot-free? You must have something quite definite in mind. I have. Is it worth 5000 Step into my office. The man I came here to identify. The one the sheriff picked up on suspicion. Did he break out from the jail? We'll find out. You're the man that shot the banker. What are you talking about? The sheriff has the guilty man locked in jail. Then if you're not guilty, you'll have no objections in going with me to the sheriff. You mind your own business, mister. Just a minute, Cisco. Hello, Sheriff. I'm afraid I brought you here on a wild goose chase. Go on, Sheriff. Tell this local stranger he's asking for trouble stopping me this way. Go ahead, Tracy.
You mean you really turned this outlaw loose? I had to let him go. Come on over to my office and I'll tell you about it. Miss Pat Lacey. She says she's going to marry the prisoner no matter what happens. The Cisco kid and Poncho. How do you do? So you're the one who's to identify the killer. That's right, miss. Well, there's Terry Ryan. Does he look like the killer? Well, Mr. Cisco kid? No. It was a man, not this boy. You see, what did I tell you? Now you can turn him loose. I'm sorry, I can't turn him loose, Pat. You mean you're going to keep an innocent man in jail? According to law, I've got to hold him. He signed a confession. Terry, you are making a very bad mistake. Why don't you mind your own business? Ah, oh, but it is my business. I know you didn't shoot the banker. I said I did. Terry, why did you tell this lie about yourself? Go away and leave me alone. He's a very strange zombie, this fellow, you know? Most men like to save their neck, but this one... Pancho, <laughs> be quiet. I, I think, why all the time be quiet? Don't talk, shut up, don't talk. Why? why? Pancho, you want me to tell you? Well, I have to give it a second think. No. <laughs> Don't worry, miss. We'll find out what this is all about. I'll be at my place taking care of his mother, if you want me. Goodbye, Terry. Goodbye, Pat. sending the rest of that 5,000 to the doctor. And I'm not breaking the kid out of jail. But that's what I promised him. I thought oh, that... Stop it. As long as that kid's alive, I stand a chance of being hung. He might turn yellow and blab. Once he's dead, that confession he signed stands, right? Well, what are you going to do? I'm going to stay here, hold up for a while. Until it's all over. And what's all over? The hanging of Terry Ryan. That might take weeks. Not my way. Hello. Who are you and Joe going to town? Stir things up. You know, like a good old-fashioned winch and bee. And remember, that banker was liked by everyone. I got you, Tom. You know, maybe I should have been a lawyer. Go ahead, have some coffee. Don't let a little thing like this upset you. Banker was a pretty good friend to most of you. Something's got to be done about his cold-blooded killing. By the time the circuit judge arrives, he might escape. Why, he might drum up some legal trick to get out of this. That's the way it happened, man, and something should be done about it. What's going on out here? Trouble. Let's take him out of jail and get it over with. Get him back here. We will return in just a moment with the climax of our exciting adventure of the Cisco Kid. Well, hey! You're going with Cisco. I'll keep him busy a few minutes. Hang it up out there! Who wants your prisoner?
no time to explain now. You better ride on back home. I'm going wherever Terry goes. How's Mom? Don't worry, she's all right. This may be your last chance to tell the truth, Terry. I don't know what you're talking about. That money you got for your mother's operation, you got it from Tracy, didn't you? Think it over, Terry. Even if the operation was a success, when she gives you real trouble, it'll kill her. They'll get me out of it. They promised me. That's who promised you. It was his lawyer, huh? Well, see how he's doing it. Yeah, I see it. I certainly was a fool, but... I needed the cash for Mom's operation. Well, now that we know the truth, we'll win this fight, won't we, Cisco? <laughs> That's an ordinary bunch to hold out against. Tracy paid him to sign that concession, Sherry. That's right. Let me talk to them and tell them the truth. Maybe they'll stop firing. They wouldn't let you finish one sentence.
going to town with me. Oh, wait a minute, Cisco. I... Hello, Cisco. Move over there. Get his gun, Parker. I was wondering what happened to you, Tom. I was going to take you with me, Parker, but I couldn't find room for your things in my bag. <laughs> Mr. Tracy, now I will identify you for two killings. Well, Sheriff, now that everything is under control, Pancho and I will be on our way. You know, Cisco, I'm very happy about this town. Pancho, I'm very happy you're happy at last. Yeah, my heart is filled with happiness because all those gilded men are in the calabooses. <laughs> and the senorita's are gonna marry Terry and they will live happy ever afterwards. Pancho, you surprised me. I didn't know you had any romance left in your soul. Yeah, I don't got no romances. Only if she married him, that will be one less than you did to fall in love with you. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Sheriff. Goodbye, Cisco. How you doing? Goodbye, Sheriff. Oh, Sheriff, one thing more. Tell those bandidos to keep in touch with you. Huh? Tell the bandidos. <laughs> hey, you hear that, Tracy? He just tell you bandidos to keep in touch with me. <laughs> Pancho, your saddle cinch is loose. You can't fool Pancho with his own trick. <laughs> it's not a trick. Be careful. Pancho Miguel Fernando Gonzalez de Conejo is one big fool. <laughs> the Cisco Kid will be back in a moment. But first, an important message. <laughs> Goodbye, amigos. See you soon. Hope you enjoyed this episode of The Cisco Kid, starring Duncan Ronaldo and Leo Carrillo, brought to you free on the web by Wild West Toys, the only manufacturer of American-made Western toy cap guns, die-cast metal, and Texas tough. If you want to shop with Wild West Toys online, go to www.toyguntown.com. Thanks for joining us. We hope to see you again on down the trail. <laughs>